Hello all, got a uh, fishing report for you. I guess you can call it a Key West tarpon fishing report uh, ending uh, March 26th. Um, we had some uh, or northerly storm front push through earlier in the week. Uh, lots of mid 20s to 30 knot winds. Um, temperatures dropped in the beginning of the week to uh, low 60s and uh, also which caused our water temps around the islands to uh, drop significantly up to like 15 degrees. Um, what that means is specifically for the tarpon is that they get out of there, um, especially from the flats and either go offshore to or find a deeper hole to kind of find some more uh, moderate temperatures and uh, waiting it out for the, the warm waters to come back to the flats so they can get up and feed. Um, Went out on uh, the 23rd and uh, headed over to uh, Shark Channel. Um, that's one of my go-to spots and I hadn't been there in a while and wanted to see what the water conditions were like. And uh, generally you can tell if it's worthwhile by just setting up shop uh, right at the end there of the Shark Channel where it pumps out into the Atlantic. Uh, on an outgoing tide and you will just takes a couple minutes to tell by uh, the tarpon rolling um, if you don't see anything rolling out there then most likely they're they're not there and it's somewhat not worthy to even try um, but uh, I'm always doing my bait checks and uh, specifically when I haven't been to an area in a while I always want to be able to uh, find the bait and catch it quickly and effectively so I can uh, uh, get fishing right away. Uh, so I hit a couple of spots and I did find my uh, my mullet and crabs in the by the launch and then uh, they were a bit hard to catch because it was at low tide and uh, it was hard to sneak up on them so I went to a secondary spot where during low tide it's a it's a real deep cut and uh, Lots of mullet and pilchards tend to kind of shore up there because it's the only low spot in the, the whole vicinity outside of the channel. And I did find a big school of mullet and was able to catch a few uh, nice size ones. Um, took those out and basically trolled up and down the, the shark channel from mid channel all the way out to the, uh, the exit part and uh, really got nothing except a couple of bite outs from barracudas and uh, did land one uh, moderate sized shark. But the biggest thing was is that uh, that cold weather just blew them out of there. There was I saw not one tarpon roll in the hole. Probably two three hours I was just going back and forth on the channel, so knew that was not good. Then uh, yesterday the 24th I went back to the um, the Duck Key on the Gulf side, um, launched out of there. The motor is still there, except it's a smaller school. Had to chase them down, but did find them no problem. I uh, took mullet out. It was blowing like crazy. It was only supposed to be uh, uh, 15 to 20s, and which is still bad. But because it was blowing east to west, I thought I would have coverage by some of the islands. But that was not existing. It was just whipping through there. Um, it was just just not good conditions for any type of fishing to even be on the water. Um, on the leeward side of the bigger islands, you can get maybe 20 feet from the mangroves out and then you're going to get sucked into a riptide of uh, wind there so uh, just horrible conditions really didn't uh, hook up to anything on that day and then today the 25th I went back out there the winds were supposedly uh, dropping below tens um, it was rainy in the morning and then uh, the evening was supposed to get calmer and calmer so that was pretty good it was still uh, cooler water temp so I didn't expect much um, also wanted to uh, test out some new lures I'm going to be using for this summer, which is the uh, Hoagie uh, soft plastic swim baits, uh, the 10-inch size, and the also the ones that they're Hoagie hooks that have the little spring uh, retainers, to, the corkscrew uh, retainers to uh, screw those uh, large uh, soft plastics on. And uh, prior videos will show that those uh, tarpon during clear weather are easily sight casted. And I could not do that with the mullet because they were basically cannonball splashes when I would launch them and I couldn't uh, cast them very well. 
So uh, I wanted something that was a little bit less um, bulky and these things looked uh, very reasonable so I gave them a shot. Um, and uh, in the evening it did clear up, uh, very clear waters. Um, it was overcast so not sunny so you, the visibility wasn't that great. Um, couldn't find anything all day except towards the later evening and I found uh, a couple of tarpon way inside at that cut uh, between Duck Key and Duck Key Point and uh, found a couple sitting in there and was able to uh, get one that blasted this uh, hoagie uh, lure and just totally destroyed it. It was a beautiful hit. Um, unfortunately, I can't, I'm not uh, recording um, start to finish, so it's basically after they hit, make a couple of jumps and runs. Then by that time I could power on the camera, wait a few seconds, and then hit the record button and then it finally starts recording and then by that time I'm on that mid fight and uh, chasing them down. But did get some action so that was good, that was a big surprise, but uh, it looks like you just got to find the right pockets and uh, if you can find them and then, uh, then it's just a matter of putting the presentation right. So anyways, uh, take a look at the videos. I've got the three days worth of videos uh, condensed down and uh, you can take a look. All right, see you later.